go. We've got another attempt here, but it looks like they're going to get the Shen rooted down, knocked up, knocked back, knocked all over the place, and Kinkus is going to get the kill in this one. Illuminar Gaming, they're matching it blow for blow. Yeah, it's going to be a response in the top lane. Can they take out the Orn, though? He has spotted them, but Tak Faxi. I don't know if Faxi can go in on this one. Ice Beast, though. Let's see. Levy Tink's coming around the side, finds him right there. The game is up. He's going to dash, flash right over the side of the pit, and it's going to be followed by Tinks. There's the end of the line. That shotgun's not out of shells just yet. He keeps on firing here, and in comes the Zoe Ice Beast. You got to think he's going to go down. Nowhere to go. Oh, Collateral oh, oh. damage. He stays alive. Are you kidding me right now? Under the tower. Meanwhile, down bottom, Illuminar trying to get the kill. Tanera will finally find Ice Beast. Flash taunt. Pulses finds Woolite. Everything's going crazy in this one, but Kink is coming back around. Delord comes around the side of the tower. Coaster not going to fall just yet, but he's really Really low, not really able to get involved too much. Delord is able to stay alive as well. It takes out the gamer's origin support. Yeah, but this is huge for Illuminar. They managed to turn that around. A whole lot was committed to Ice Beast in the top lane. And in the meantime, Illuminar just destroyed the bot lane from Gamer's Origin. They have no mana to come up and Toaster. He's burning low. In comes Seven looking oh! for the three-man, four-man shuffle at Gamer's Origin. No! That's a triple kill for Seven. And takes you down to the desert. Beautiful Emperor's Divide destroys this side. And now it's a powerhouse show today. You know, if it could be a pick on the response. All right, Ice Beast of Sevix. Got to be careful here. Pulse is going to get the taunt off. But look at Illuminar oh. going in. King is trying to get the kick off. And it looks like they just turn it right around. The fight just keeps on going. And only Toaster lives to tell the tale. You know something's going wrong when the Brahms getting a double kill. And this is just... Kegis, he's still gonna live! The shields are real! And it looks like Faxi's going in for more. Toner will finally find the kill, but Tinks is gonna fall afterwards, and so does Toner! It turns around, Woolite! Does he have enough shots there? Firing forward, Woolite does get one, and a big shutdown for him. He's even gonna live the double kill for Sebex. Illuminar out fighting Gamer's Origin. They two minutes on the clock. We saw him close in 27 before. A little slower, but that damage is real, and that Baron does not stand a chance. Picked up by Illuminar. He engages, spending absolutely phenomenal. And we called him the Dark Horse, and this Dark Horse is off to a gallop as Woolite. No, get cut out! Pulls us, he's going for it. That looks like the Braum knockup, though, is found on two. They just don't have the damage, and down goes Tinks! Down goes everybody! They've got more, and the Lord is not even gonna fall. That's a triple kill for Woolite! Their wave clear is now just Zoe. This is the push up you have. The unthinkable, the impossible, closing this one out and just trying to buy some time is going to be Tonair, and he's not going to be able to do it. Faxi goes for the Hextech ultimatum, but he's going to be evaporated. In comes Pulsus to try and save the day. The double kill coming out for Sevix, but it will not be enough. Poland will not be denied. Call them dark horses, call them underdogs, call them whatever you want, but Poland are in the finals. Call them winners. They managed to take the series from Gamers Origin. Absolutely amazing. We did not expect anything but a 2-0 coming into this, but we see the 2-0 completely flipped on its head.